Alright, coffee's ready. Good morning. I am just opening up the doors this morning. Whoops. So that we have a nice view because today is a work day. I'm gonna be finishing up a video. So and Kurt are gonna be finishing up a video. And Danny's gonna work on his app. Which he'll talk to you about later. Can't imagine a better place to work than right here. So we got the seats turned toward the back to enjoy the ocean. Sombrita likes being outside. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys real van stories. Walk over here to the road, go into the bathroom of the guy we met yesterday. When I get to his place, the water main is gushing out water right by the curb. And he says, hey, got some bad news about the shower. But, he said, hey, you know, I'm really here for the bathroom. So I'll go ahead. And he showed me his backyard. He said, here's a bunch of cow I'm drying. And then he says, I make chocolate. Wait one sec, he goes upstairs, gets in his fridge, and grabs these uh, chocolates that Ignacio makes over there. And he said, I want you to take it to the rest of the van people, they can try these out. You want to try one, Emily? Yeah. Let's play one. Whoa, dark chocolate. But that's good. Mm. Mm. Story of my morning, finding in a bathroom, living in a van. Worked out. Well, it looks like crew and snow are up, so let's have them try those chocolates the guy gave me. So I'm just gonna eat a bite of curd. Okay. Yeah. yeah, my diet. That's the meat. You're gonna have a little piece. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have a little bite. Have y'all tried it yet? Yeah, yeah, they're tasty. What do you think? It's pretty dark, so. Oh, it's good though. Yeah, I, I don't think it has. Do you think it has a lot of sugar in it? I don't think so. It's good with my it. coffee. Ooh. Not bad. Yeah. A little chocolate mm. coffee. Love it. Yep. Oh, we're pretty that lucky. Cool Sometimes you meet people with the van, and maybe you're just looking for a bathroom. But some people are really nice in this planet. <laughs> <laughs> spot because we need some power and here the back is just barely poking out so since we're pulling in 145 watts we might as well open up the doors Over here this morning and hit up you know uh, Ignacio well we just met that guy who works a little ways down at a hotel so that might be the shower spot so I'm gonna make some red pepper cashew dip for everybody and hopefully it works in my immersion blender that I have here. I soaked the cashews overnight in a bowl, which makes them super soft. 
So, and they're actually a lot softer than I thought they would be. This is the first time I'm ever making this. I'm putting in one clove of minced garlic, a red pepper, a jalapeno, and a little squeeze of lime, and a half a cup of soy milk. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to immerse and blend this for the first bath. I hope this works. Okay, I got the other batch ready. I asked for two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is gonna give it the cheesy taste. I'm gonna taste it to see if it needs salt and if it's not too grainy because uh, my immersion blender isn't really grinding it as much as I think it's supposed to be. So we'll, we'll both try it and see if it's what's going on here. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, oh, it's perfect. You like it? Yeah. No more nooch? No cheese. Okay. <laughs> Should I blend it more? No. No? So how's that dip, Emily? Oh, it's great. I was just checking the solar because I said we we're getting pounded. And yeah, we got 113. So it's not a new high score, but it's still really good. But you're going to make up a little plate for Kurt and Snow? Yeah, to go with their lunch. Since I am an iPhone developer, I had to try to keep my phone number so that I can do the two-factor authentication and logging into everything. Google Fi has international data, so no matter what country I'm in, it can connect to any kind of network. It's pretty nice, but it would be cheaper down here to get a new SIM card, but then I wouldn't have my same phone number. And I also use the Google Fi just to have internet. Oh, wow. Bitcoin's down. Today I'm gonna submit an update for my Photo Investigator app, so I'm gonna test it on Emily's phone before I upload it. Uh, looks like we're doing fine on the batteries at least. Well, this app of mine is basically a photo app. Here you can see a nice map of your photos, where you've been. You can look through your photos and see all the metadata. Basically I redid this right here and it's looking good. Now that it's looking good on the phone, just have to upload the app to Apple and submit it for their review. Okay, off to the races. Let's see if I can get this uploaded on the beach connection. Google Fi is killing it. While that's uploading to Apple since the app has 13 languages. I have a script that will upload for each language the release notes and some other things per language. 
So I get to feel like a hacker, let that run while letting the new version upload. Before uploading the information for each language, it shows me a preview. French, Dutch, German, Swedish. Well, it looks like everything got submitted correctly. So now it's time to submit to Apple. This version has been submitted for review. Sweet. Looks like the work is done for the day. Two o'clock. Time to go for a swim. How'd it go? Oh, visibility, no bueno, but... But it's a nice swim? Yeah, it's nice water. The waves kind of crashing out. I'm not too sure it's the best surf spot. But maybe later they'll develop. Hey, either way, you got cooled off, huh? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Might go again, but might as well leave this. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we're gonna go for a swim, play with the wabuba a little bit. Thanks, Cyrus and Mary, for getting giving that to us while you guys were here. We're gonna go test it out in these oceans. I want to make this Dutch oven on a campfire recipe. Hopefully this fire will light. If not, make it on a camp stove. Okay, toss it on the fire. Hey, throwing it on there.
our dinner on the campfire today is yuca, and then carrots, and then sweet potatoes, onion, a little bit of garlic, and mushrooms to chop it off. We've been making this for quite a long time in the van. It's like our, it's our favorite thing to make on the campfire for, uh, you know, our van friends. Um, when we started van life, it used to have chicken thighs on top, but since then, I have not been eating meat. So now it has mushrooms on top and it's, I think, even more tasty than it was before. <laughs> Done with the hot sweaty work of cooking over a fire in Costa Rica, but I think it's gonna turn out well and Kurt and Snow invited us over to eat in their van, thanks to them. Time has come. Stick this thing over. Maybe if there's a little dirt on the bottom. <laughs> You've got a red carpet. <laughs> We're a van. <laughs> dinner in the van. Woohoo! Got it. Very nice. Thank you so much. Yes. Here we go. These look good. Ooh. Oh, fresh herbs. Oh, look at that. Looks really good. Oh, that wow. looks awesome. That really cooked and down. These herbs were just gonna peel off now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Van live cooking on a fire. Yeah. So that's awesome. Beautiful. Where'd you get Good these? job, Danny. What? At the store they time. come. Yeah. The whole sprig. Nice. Yes. Nice. So it's easy to explain. Look at that. And, uh... Oh, I mean the yuca. Uh, the yuca is definitely. Is good I'd say yeah. just leave the burnt pieces. You know, I, think I would. Good. I would yeah. scrape them up and yeah. give them. Out. Really? I want burnt pieces. Look oh, you want that. some burnt pieces? Like that. Oh, that looks yeah. nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look yeah. Look at don't this. deprive me of the burnt pieces. <laughs> Danny likes burnt pieces too. Oh. That's why he's like, oh, we'll just leave those in there. <laughs> I'll I'll leave those those there. <laughs> For a second dinner. <laughs> For a second dinner. Have Perfect. you guys explained to them how y'all have second dinner? We always oh, have two dinners. Do y'all tell them though? No. no. So these guys eat like dinner like normal. And then when it's time to go to bed for us older folk, Danny's like, yeah, I'm ready for second dinner. And then eat again. It's great. I love it. What's your second dinner usually like? It's like ramen. <laughs> Ramen's the easy second dinner. Ramen, rice, and I like beans. A peanut butter sandwich. Maybe you put a banana in it. Ooh, that's a nice second peanut dinner. Butter, banana. Yeah. I could go for a bowl of cereal as a second dinner too. You know, this nice little bowl of cereal with a TV I have a show. Dinner. It's another bar, like <laughs> oh yeah. In the morning. Is that second dinner or early breakfast? 
or just insomnia and munchies. I love it. Let's eat. Yeah. I got some Lisano for us too. Thanks for having us over, guys. Oh no, thanks for cooking a yummy, yummy dinner. Thank yeah. you guys so much yeah. for giving me some heart of palm. Yeah, I'm that's right. To try it. <laughs> Emily's first mm. heart of palm. Well, we had a great dinner here, a little potluck. <laughs> okay, we'll see you tomorrow on Snow and Kurt's channel. We've got big day tomorrow again. Yeah, another, another moving day, I think. Moving day, checking out Puerto Viejo, doing some cool stuff. Good night. Yeah.